Now that you've spent some time customizing actions in the editor, let's talk about tasks. Remember, every action your Zap completes successfully is called a task. Tasks are only associated with completed actions and anything that passes successfully through a filter step or a path. For example, if you have a Zap that sends out a channel message for upcoming calendar events, each message counts as a task. Or say you have a Zap that adds an item to your to-do list whenever a new lead is assigned to you. You have a filter to make sure your Zap only runs when leads are assigned to your name. Each lead that passes through your filter successfully and ends up on your to-do list counts as a task. Triggers do not count as tasks. And it's not a task if it can't pass a filter step or doesn't meet a rule you've set up in a path. Also, if something goes wrong in your Zap and it doesn't run for whatever reason, Zapier won't count it against you. And that's good news for you. Kind of. We want your Zaps to work and you want your Zaps to work. But if your Zap isn't firing like it's supposed to, don't worry. Zapier keeps a log of all your Zaps in your Zap history. Here, you can investigate the issue and make any changes. Access your account's Zap history from the menu bar. By default, the first thing you'll see is your task usage. This shows your list of active Zaps, organized by how many tasks each Zap has used. You'll also see how many issues each Zap has encountered, if any. You can use the filters at the top of the page to narrow down which Zaps you want to review. You can sort by a date range, a specific app or Zap, or mix and match to find something specific. If you click on an individual Zap, you'll see three options. First, you can open your Zap in the editor if you want to make any changes. Second, you can look at your Zap details, such as the apps you've connected or other stats about your workflow. Third, you can look at your Zap runs. Zap runs are anytime your Zap runs. In your Zap history, click on the Zap Runs tab. You can see each time a Zap attempts to run and how many tasks it uses each time. You'll also see the status of each Zap run. If you see a stopped or holding status, you may want to investigate. All you need to do is click on the Zap. You'll see each step of your workflow and where the issue occurred. Click on Troubleshoot Error to fix it yourself or click Get Help to reach out to our support team. Your Zap history isn't just a log. It's an important tool to help ensure you're automating efficiently and successfully. We'll see you in the next lesson. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button below. And if you're new to this channel and enjoy this sort of content, consider hitting the subscribe button too. Thanks.